Hey, it's John, your Gen X grandpa, and I have a long overdue video that I promised. I had originally made a video, I think 2018, 2019, I can't remember, maybe actually as far as back as 2017, um, on doing a maintenance on a John Deere lawnmower, and I left a few steps out in that video. So this is that long overdue video. You may hear chainsaws going off in the background. My neighbor's taking care of a, a tree but I hope you'll join me afterwards and hope I hit all the points for all of you. All right, so I always like to start with the dirtiest part of the job and that's gonna be draining the oil out. This is supposed to come right off, twist it to the right and give it a pull. And once you open this up, some air going in there and we'll let that drain. All right, so while that's draining, we're gonna change the fuel filter. It's good to change that while the oil is draining because you can just fuel any, funnel any leaking fuel into the container for your oil. I know that's not best practices when it comes to recycling oil, but sometimes that's what you gotta do. So you're just gonna use a needle nose and just clamp on that and move that up the hose, move that clamp up the hose. And then you gotta loosen that. Oh, by the way, I've used some vice grips here and pinched off the fuel line so that fuel doesn't come gushing out. So that's done on that end, and we can do the same thing on this end too. Just gonna take that there, pinch that clamp down, and move it up the hose. So we've got our new filter here. You do wanna pay attention, you probably can't see it, but it says flow this way. The tank is in the back of the lawnmower and it's gonna to flow to the front. So that's how we wanna install this filter. So I'm gonna release my vice grips. And that should give me an indication of whether or not I have a leak or not. And it looks like we're good. I'm gonna put it back here in the retainer clip. And then once we start it, we're gonna recheck this. All right, so most of our oil has drained out. We're gonna go ahead and put this plug back on and secure it. Wipe up any spillage. and move to the other side for the oil filter. All right, so the oil filter can be a little messy, so I've cut a piece of plastic here from a milk jug, and we're just gonna loosen this up here. And this is not over tightened because I put it on myself. And as you can see here, now the oil, instead of flowing down the side of the frame is coming out this uh, being directed into the funnel here. It's still a little messy, but we're okay with that. In fact, let me adjust this a little bit. There we go. Toss this in my oil pan over here. This glove shot. Now I can pull that out here and dump that oil in there. And it keeps things nice and clean. We want to wipe off the surface here to make sure we remove any dirt. 
and then we're going to put on our new filter. So we have our new filter here. Let's pull that out. I'm going to use some of this oil here to lubricate the seal. And then we're going to tighten this on. And that should do it. It's hand tight and it doesn't really need to be much tighter. Okay, now that we've got the filter changed and the oil drained, we're going to remove our dipstick and we're going to put two quarts of 10W30 in. I just got this. I just picked this up from a hardware store and you can get any 10W30 oil will be fine. I like to add a quart and a half and then check my oil levels. All right, it's still low. Add another little bit. And we're good. All right, up next, air filter and spark plugs. All right, we've got a new air filter and we're just gonna remove this cover here and swap out the dirty and the clean one. So if you have some trouble like I have had with this, sometimes these can get a little bit stripped. So what you can do is put a vice grip on them and it'll tighten the top around the fastener that's in there, and then you can get it loose. All right. So there's our filter and our pre-filter. The mice have been uh, <laughs> nesting in here overnight, so make sure you clean out anything like that that's in there. Now we add our pre-filter and our filter. And you can reattach the cover to your filter. No need to torque down on these. All right, and then we move on to spark plugs. The mice really like nesting in lawnmowers over the winter. All right, time for new spark plugs. Now you got one on each side of the motor. I'm just gonna show you one side. If you see how one side is done, then you know how both sides are done. So you're gonna pull off your spark plug cap there. You're gonna need a plug wrench. This is a 5 8 and then just loosen it up. Once it's loose enough, you really want to do the rest by hand if possible. You don't want to strip anything out. So these are the Champion RC 1-2-YC spark plugs. We can hand tighten them to begin with. All right, once it's hand tightened, you don't really need to give much of a twist on this. It just needs to be tightened snug and that's it. And then you replace the cap and repeat on the other side. All right, so that's the video. You can hear the, my neighbor over there with his lawnmower going. And uh, I hope you liked it. If you like these kinds of videos or if this video helped you out, please consider supporting me over at buymeacoffee.com slash John Wilkerson. All right, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.